So here we have uh, beautiful evidence besides everything else we found, um, proving the law. And we don't really go for the fact. So just for you guys, you can see, this is what the entrance to the temple would have looked like. And it was found over there. It was reconstructed here because the original is in the museum, but it's not reconstructed at all. They just have to be. It's very modern. Very modern. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so in uh, about eight minutes, we have a movie beginning at the top. But before we go up there, I want to talk about where we are. We're standing on the northernmost hill of the city of David, other than above us. But we'll talk about that later on because that wasn't there in David's time. This is a Jebusite city, meaning a Canaanite city, um, called Jebus. Jebus, or something like that. Maybe. And this is the city that King David takes. And the city of Jerusalem has only ever been taken from the north. And many times it's been taken, which is hundreds of times, probably like 500 times, you can only attack from the north. Because you have this valley on the east, you have another one on the west, and it all comes down and meets together on the south. So there's no way to come other than the north. Okay? There's two exceptions to this rule. Number one, King David comes from the east. Number two, 1967, the Israeli paratroopers come from the east. The only two times in history that someone came from another direction is Israel from the east. Are you changing? Afterwards, sit now? No, you can have Are we coming back? Yeah. Is that the no, no. locker or no? No. Once we go down, we're going down. Yeah. We get back on the bus, they'll take us up there. You can come back, but you're hiking. Yeah. It's easier to catch the bus. There's a place down there to change back into your jeans. Okay. You just gotta carry it with you. Um, so, what was I saying? Jerusalem. Oh, the east, yes. The east. So, when we go down, we're all gonna go down together into uh, the city of David. Oh, the David. We're gonna split off eventually. What tunnel people? Dry tunnel people. The what tunnel people? This is not the tunnel that King David uh, came through. Dry tunnel people, perhaps it is. We don't know. But it's going up to the east, and I'll tell you afterwards what it is. Now, if you look over there on the wall, um, when we come back from our movie, I'll actually show you inside in the store there. They have replicas of this stuff over here. But you find all sorts of different, we have done all sorts of different things in the um, system project and just excavating down the whole thing and all come out, specifically where. But the one on the top right, to me, is very, very important. And the reason why is it's a golden bell, not very specific. But if you read the Bible, there's only one person that has a golden bell that is shaped like a pomegranate. It's supposed to look like a pomegranate. And this is the high priest. This is part of his garment. And up until we found that, we had it completely wrong. Because the Bible, remember, in Hebrew, one sentence can mean many different things. So it says, a pomegranate and a bell. A pomegranate and a bell. So we found a pomegranate, bell, a pomegranate, bell. All the way around. And then we found this. And then we went back and we said, oh, it's a pomegranate. Oh, sorry, it's a bell in a pomegranate. pomegranate. What it was is a bell in a pomegranate. A bell in a pomegranate. Inside this golden bell, a pomegranate is a little bell. So every time the priest takes a step, it emits a certain sound. Okay? Now the cool thing about this, and you kind of kind of... You know, God doesn't do anything by mistake. He commanded this very specifically, and it's for a very specific reason. Um, if, imagine 2,000 years ago, we're on our way to the temple. You guys just hiked all the way from the States. I don't know how you walked on water, but you did it. You made it here. You came all the way to Jerusalem. You came over the Mount of Olives. You came from that way or that way. It doesn't matter. You sang the Song of Ascent. You've been so excited to get here this entire time. You finally made it. Now you gotta go do all this stuff to get ready. You finally did it, and you're going up to the temple. You pay your half shekel, you enter, you're in God. This is amazing. Oh boy, now the next step is let's go meet God. That could be a little nerve wracking. You could get a little, you know, sidetracked on your whole journey. Oh, there's Bob, there's Fred, I haven't seen him for months, two years, whatever. You know, it gets a little overwhelming. 
God knows their nature. He knows this could happen. It will happen, but it potentially could. So he created this to make sure we don't miss the moment. Because once we approach God's house, once we approach his altar, it's business. We're here to meet with God. We're here to ask forgiveness for whatever we did. Whatever reason you came for, you don't want to miss that moment. The high priest is your representative to God. God made him put these bells on you because that's just that poor little bit on the attack of his heart. God put this uh, um, system uh, in order because when you put, I forget how many bells it was, 70 something bells, all around it, I think it's 72. If you put 72 bells around it, let's say 71 bells, it's just chaos. As the high priest is walking. But if you do the exact number, whatever it is that God uh, told him to do, um, it makes a sound that was studied by a sound expert, whatever that's called, from the Haifa University, uh, the Technion it's called. Um, and what she found out is that frequency that it emits is calming to human beings. So when you approach the temple, unbeknownst to you, and you hear the high priest, you don't see the first, you hear him walking around, it calms you down. So that way, if you're freaking out, oh man, I got my ear, or I forgot something at home, or all worries aside, you're in God's house now. Okay? And that's nothing to do with it, you just shut up. Okay? So this is something that we found out when we found this pomegranate. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful design anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll come back and talk oh, about the rest right. a little mm -hmm. bit. So is it a good place to shop now? Yeah, this is a great shop. This is, now this shop is a one-off shop. You don't find this shop anywhere else. Okay, if you want to buy it. Yeah. 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 